Hello. So in this video we're going to be making it so that when you shoot an arrow and it spawns the impaled arrow, you can walk to it and pick your arrow back up. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and create a widget. So right click in the content browser, go to user interface and select widget blueprint. <coughs> I'm going to name this WB E Pickup. And it's basically just going to be telling us to press the E key to pick up the arrow. So I've got a little widget that I made for this. You guys can use whatever, or a texture that I made. And you guys can just use whatever textures you have for it. It's just a small E key icon. So let's open up our E pickup widget. First thing we're gonna do is erase the canvas panel. And in the top right corner, of our designer here. We're going to change from fill screen to desired on screen. Search for a vertical box. We're going to place our vertical box right here in our hierarchy. Next we want to get an image. We're going to place the image inside of our vertical box. Then we're going to get some text and we'll place the text also in the vertical box. If we select our image, we can set our texture. I'm going to change the size of this one to 50 on the X and 50 on the Y. And we're going to have it horizontal and vertical aligned into the center. And we'll change the text of the text box to pick up. And I'm going to add a padding of 5 to both of these. And I'm also going to align the text both center on vertical and horizontal as well. <coughs> and compile and save. And we're done with the widget now. Next thing we want to do is go to the Dynamic Combat System folder, Blueprints, and Projectiles. Let's on open up the BP Impaled Arrow. On the begin play, I'm going to place it after the set static mesh. We're going to cast to combat character. Get player character for the object. <coughs> right click the as BP combat character pin, promote to a variable, and we're just going to name this player. On our viewport, you don't see anything here. There's a static mesh here for the impelled arrow, but it has no mesh set. The reason why is because it actually sets the mesh depending on which arrow you shot. So with the impelled arrow mesh selected, we're going to add component and we're going to add a box collision. I'll just name this pickup collision. And scroll all the way down in your details panel. And we're going to add an on component begin overlap event. And we're also going to add an end overlap event. On these events, we want to get our player variable. And we're going to make sure that the other actor, which is the overlapped actor, is equal to the player. From the equal object, we'll get a branch. <laughs> and now let's duplicate our equal object and branch. And plug these pins in here. <coughs> now 
Now also attached to the impelled arrow mesh, we're going to add component. We're going to add a widget component. And drag that into your graph. Also with the widget component selected, we want to make sure that we change visibility to false. in the rendering section, because we want it to start not visible. And if we overlap it, we want to set visibility. Oops. And we're gonna set that to true on begin overlap. We can duplicate that down here. And on end overlap, we're gonna set new visibility to false. Next thing we want to do is get player controller. And from the return value on the player controller, we're going to enable input. It spawned connected to target, so let's make sure we change that. We want target to be self, and we want the player controller to be plugged into the player controller. <coughs> and down here, we're going to disable input. And make sure we plug our player controller in to our get player controller. And now we're going to get a gate. It's going to start closed. And on the overlap event, we will open it. On the end overlap event, we will close it. And we'll use our interact event, the action event interact, which is right now bound to the E key. Now this is where we would add the item to the player. And when I did this earlier, I just added the elven arrow. But since we have two different arrows, we're actually going to check the arrow mesh. Yeah, so we will check the arrow mesh. And we'll see if this is equal to the elven arrow. Our SM elven arrow. And we'll get a branch here. If you have more than one arrow, you may want to either create an enumeration or a structure for that, or just have multiple branches on there. Uh, if you had many different arrows, it would probably be better at that point to create an enumer enumeration and set it up that way. But we only have the two arrows for right now, so we're just going to keep it simple. So if that's true, if it was SM Elven Arrow, we're going to add an Elven Arrow to the player. If it's false, there's no other arrows besides the Explosive Arrow, so we'll just add the Explosive Arrow then. So let's get player. From get player, add item to inventory. And let's go ahead and duplicate this. Actually, now I think about it, I think our explosive arrows might destroy the arrow on impact. I'm not quite sure, but I guess we'll find out. But I still wanted to show that anyway, just so that you guys know you can do that. So if it's true that it is the elven arrow, we'll add our elven arrow. Amount 1. If not, we will add our explosive arrow. And after we pick it up, we want to make sure that we destroy it. Destroy actor. And one more thing we want to add in here 
is a do once because we want to make sure that we're never able to do this more than once. <coughs> and we'll also change our lifetime to, let's say, 30 seconds. Give it a little bit more time to go and pick up the arrow. And let's go ahead and test it out now. Okay, so it is letting us pick it up. The widget's not showing up. I believe we forgot to set the widget. So let's go ahead and click on the widget component here. We want to change space to screen. Widget class, we'll get our E pickup widget. And let's see how that looks now. Now it's telling us we can pick it up. The widget is a little uh, out of place there. So let's actually try to detach this from the arrow. I think that's going to be a little better. So just click and drag it onto the impaled arrow mesh. Since it's already attached to it, it'll detach it. Okay, it's still a bit out of place. So I believe it was fine attached. Let's go ahead and reattach that. Let's try changing the draw size to 300 on the X, 30 on the Y, and draw at desired size. There we go. Now it shows up right where it's supposed to. There we go. Now we can pick up our arrows after we shoot them. Alright, I hope that's helpful for some of you guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.